Welcome to Santorini, a place made and destroyed by lava. The island was a part of a volcano, which erupted in the past and the ancient civilization got destructed. Santorini is one of the most famous Greek islands visited by millions of visitors each year. This is the place where we are about to spend the next six weeks. Here we are on one of the most visited places, probably, on Santorini, the Red Beach. If you look around, there is no directly parking right on the beach, but you have to hike for like five minutes. The Red Beach got its name by the red sand and soil that is present on the beach. It is a small volcanic sandy beach located under a cliff which is surrounded by huge rocks and the sand on this particular beach is made up of black and red smashed volcanic rocks from the nearby Santorini caldera. Also it's very cute now because it's like later in the afternoon so there are these like sunset uh, vibes. Okay, that was the Red Beach and now we are going to check out one more place which is apparently nice for the sunset. It's a place up on the hill with all the windmills and stuff. Some of them are renovated by now, so yeah.
I got this present for Easter from a Greek family, a traditional Easter bread. It is a sweet bread and the three braids of the bread represent the Holy Trinity. Then chocolate and hard boiled eggs, which are dyed red. It is a tradition to dye them red or some other color. There is also an Easter egg cracking tradition. Each person picks a hard boiled egg and clinks it against the egg of someone else. You have to crack your egg on top of another person's egg and there is a winner and loser and the loser is the one with the cracked egg. The following day we hiked the hill connected to one of the most important periods in the history of Santorini. In the past, a great ancient civilization was settled here. We started hiking from the village of Perissa and it took us approximately 40 minutes. We are on the top of the mountain which separates two coastal villages. What is actually interesting about this place is that it used to be an ancient settlement, but right now it's an archaeological site. There is the village of Perissa on one side and Kamari on the other. It is also possible to get here by car from Kamari. This is the road which leads up here.